Thanks for joining us today. I'm Dr. Brent Keller with Southeast Gastroenterology, and we're here to discuss the differences between colonoscopy and cologar. Today we have Brad Zaruba, and he has some questions regarding this topic. Thanks for being here today, Brad. It's great to be with you today, Dr. Keller. What are the pros and the cons of the test? First, I'd like to say colon cancer is 90% curable if detected early. Um, so I support any test that's going to increase the participation rate. The advantages of Cologuard is that it's non-invasive and you don't have to have a bowel prep. The disadvantages are threefold, really. One, there's, it's a colon cancer detection test, and the name of the game is prevention. So it's not a very good colon cancer prevention test. Um, it has a, when we're talking about colon cancer detection, it's a 92% um, colon cancer detection, um, which sounds great if you're yeah, shooting, shooting free throws or taking a test, but at the end of the day, you're missing 8% of those um, colon cancer. So 8 out of every 100 patients with colon cancer are going to get missed with Cologar. So it's not a great colon cancer detection test, but it's even worse uh, colon uh, polyp test. Uh, so colon polyps are precancerous lesions that we can remove from the colon to prevent cancer, and um, you can miss 30 to 35% of 2 centimeter polyps, which is a good sized polyp, roughly the size of a grape. And those are advanced lesions that typically turn into colon cancer. Right next would be the false positive rate, which is 10%, which is quite high actually. So one in every 10 people are going to have a positive test that actually don't have polyps for colon cancer and then it's going to subject them to a colonoscopy that they're going to potentially have to pay um, for because the insurance company won't cover it. And then thirdly is symptoms. So if you're having any symptoms, rectal bleeding, change in bowel habits, anemia, um, colon guard is not appropriate for that. And then if you have a family history of colon cancer or advanced polyps, not indicated for that. And then if you have a personal history of polyps or um, colon cancer, colon guard is not indicated in that, in that setting. Dr. Keller, why is it important that those polyps are detected? Polyps are precancerous lesions. They're kind of like a mole in our colon. Um, and those can turn into colon cancer if we don't remove them. Uh, so colonoscopy is actually the only test that can identify those and remove them at the same time. Dr. Keller, why is colonoscopy considered the gold standard for colon cancer screening? So colonoscopy is a tier one um, screening modality for a couple reasons. First, um, it is the only test that can identify the polyps and also remove them at the same time. Secondly, it is the most sensitive uh, test for colon polyps as well as colon cancer. If you have a negative colonoscopy, it, uh, you have a 10-year interval for your next one, whereas with Cologuard, it would be a three-year interval. Um, those are the main reasons that colonoscopy is uh, the gold standard, but uh, simply put, it's the most sensitive test to find these precancerous lesions. Thank you, Dr. Keller, for all of this wonderful information. You're welcome, Brad. Thanks for being here today. If you have any questions regarding colonoscopy, please feel free to call our offices or visit our website.